Hello folks. Good evening. Karen Wolf here in the art studio. <laughs> I'm a painter and I teach you how to paint and become a better painter in a step-by-step -step process so that you can be proud of your art and become more confident. Um, this evening we are going to paint uh, a version of this uh, daisy in a mason jar. This is a painting that will be upcoming here uh, spring or summer, uh, soon, um, for my online painting tutorials, uh, library, uh, version of it. Um, but for this evening, we're going to do a version of it on here. This is an older painting that I did back in 2014, and we're going to paint it with the palette knife. So, y'all say hey when you jump on here. I hope some people can join, uh, while we're live, that always makes it fun when you can chit chat back and forth and visit and talk and the whole bit. So we're going to go, I've just got, I'm just using my, um, studio paint there. What I had in my art studio when I was over in town. Um, I didn't use the Liquitex basics. These are a little bit more liquid, um, which probably isn't a very good idea for, um, palette knife painting, but that's what I'm going with. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so, um, I am going to use white, yellow, green, blue, uh, looks like burnt sienna, and a purple. A little bit of purple. So, we're going to go in and paint a background first. I'm just taking some of the blue. And I'm not going to paint it exactly uh, like this. So, um, don't uh, be alarmed when you see it's not uh, it's not the same because it's not going to be. So, just mixing me up a couple of colors of paint here, a light blue and a dark blue, with my palette knife. So, how are you all doing this evening? I hope you guys are doing good. If you guys are watching this. Um, if you're not watching this live and y'all uh, come back and watch it on the replay, uh, say replay. Let me know you're watching it on the replay. Say hey. Um, just putting on some color here. I was going to paint it on an 11 by 14, but I decided I would um, just go for an 8 by 10. This is, oops, making a mess. This is an 8 by 10 canvas. Oh. Why don't y'all say, move me forward. <laughs> hey, howdy ho, Heather. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll move you in a little bit closer. So we're doing the daisy in the mason jar, but not exactly like that daisy. I always go backwards. I always go one way when I'm supposed to go the other way. I think you can see that there. Um, we're painting the daisy in the mason jar. It's a pretty one. It's an older painting that I did a long time ago. This is, uh, like I said, I'm using the palette knife, so you'll be glad of that. Right, Heather? You've been painting a daisy painting today. Well, you be. How about that? Daisies are always fun. I love, love, love to paint daisies. I'm not a big flower painter. I don't paint, and I don't know why. Here I am coming on here painting flowers. I'm not a big daisy, or a, uh, rewind. I'm not a big flower painter. I don't really um, paint a lot of flowers, and because mostly because I'm not very good at it. Um, but I do like to paint daisies. I do, I do. So... Anyhow, hey Paula, welcome. Hello, my friend. Um, so I'm just going on here and I'm just mixing together some blue and sienna. I haven't seen you on here for a while, Paula. Where have you been? Working, I'm sure. That's pretty much. I'm sure you do a lot of that working. You did daisies in a mason jar for a wedding and named our pup Daisy. Aw. What kind of pup do you have? Is it, my guess would be a beagle dog, but I don't know why that comes to mind when you say Daisy. 
that's <laughs> funny. All right, so I've got a darker edge, and that's really dark, but I'm going to go back in with some blue, that blue color, and I'm putting some white in it, and I'm adding more blue. Ah, we're, you were surfing, and there I was, yeah. Here I am sometimes. I was on YouTube last night, my first YouTube episode. Never been live on YouTube. I always post my videos on YouTube, but I don't ever go live there. And I was... Uh, Heather, you were there. You saw it. You witnessed it. Um, I was live on YouTube. It was fun. It was really fun. Um, and the funny thing about it... Um, at the end, I, I didn't research it. I didn't know how to... I've never been live on YouTube before. I didn't even know what I was doing. But, I, hey, you know, sometimes you have to just venture on, try new things, be brave. Like painting, you guys who are afraid to paint, sometimes you just need to venture out there and try something that you're scared to do because everything's not, everything's not, um... Well, I was going to say everything's not easy. It's not that. It's everything is like, you just have to try stuff. You just have to get out there and try stuff. This is becoming very dark, and I don't like that, so I'm going to really lighten this up here a little bit. Um, but I had never um, gone live on YouTube. Like I said, never, never, never. And I went live last night on YouTube, and it was fun. At the very end, well, during the live, I didn't know if I was going to be able to see comments. Didn't know how they were going to pop up or if I was going to see them. And I did. They popped up. And then, <clears throat> stick figures, <laughs> you're in. That's funny, Paula. You're hilarious. Still a funny, funny girl. Hey, if it makes you feel any better... I'm not good at drawing stick figures. I can paint all day long, but I'm not good at stick figures. Um, so there you go. Um, but anyhow, I didn't know if the comments were going to show up. And they did. The comments showed right up. I eventually, I was able to see them. I got my iPad going, and I was able to see comments, and then they started even popping up on my phone. But at the very end, it was so hilarious, and I did that when I went live on Instagram, was I got to the very end, and I was, uh, I couldn't figure out how it turned off. <laughs> I couldn't figure out, could not figure out how to end the daggone video. Oh, gee. So there you go. Weird, weird, weird. Yeah, such is life. But I did it. I figured it out. I ended it. And then I thought, I saved it. It said something about saving a highlight. So I saved it, and it said something, something highlight. So I hit that button and said okay. And then after it was over, all I had was a, a I need to like darken that little area up right there. All I had was a um, highlight of the video because my flower is going to be over here. I don't want it to be too light or you won't be able to see it. Um, but I uh, thought all I was going to have was a little highlight of the video. And I waited and waited, and I kept looking for it and looking for it to upload. And I thought, I have deleted that dumb thing. And all I have is this daggone five-minute highlight of a 43-minute video that I did, painting video. And, uh, hey, Tammy. Hey, Carolyn. Welcome. Hello. Hey, Heather. Uh, welcome, you guys. We're painting uh, a, uh, not exactly this. A version of it. Um, but I thought that it deleted my video. And it didn't. It was there. It just took forever for it to upload. Oh my gosh. 
It took forever. Okay, so I'm just getting the background going on in here. I'm not, um, not real thrilled about how that's so dark on the outside edge, although that's how the original is. We'll leave it like that for a minute and see if I like it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to lighten it up. But that's what we've got so far. And I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer. And then we're going to do the jar and the flower. And hopefully, I've gotten it dark enough here. Oops. I definitely didn't need to go that dark. Hopefully, I've gotten it dark enough there that my flower is going to show up. putting a little bit of yellow in here. But anyways, it was a great little video. It was a cow. We painted the cow last night uh, with a palette knife. I don't know where he is. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. And it was fun. Always a fun time when you, when you paint cows. He was a crazy cow. Not a, not a um, particularly... It was just a crazy cow, what it was. All right, so we got the background in, and I'm going to, uh, I know you all are thinking it's a hot mess so far, but hey, they all start out that way. You just have to just go with the flow. I hate it that it takes that long to dry, but it's it's palette knife painting is very thick. Okay, so I need a little bit more blue because I lose used all my blue. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and make a indication on my jar. See how my jar is going to be. I'm going to have it. I think I drew it in a while ago. It was about in here. I'm just drawing right at this point. You're all about stick figures too, Heather. <laughs> That's funny. You all and your stick figures. Everybody always says that. That's the funniest thing. When, uh, you know, people are going to start painting with you, they'll they'll say, or, you know, when I was at the art studio, they would say, well, I can't even draw a stick figure. Well, that's okay. I can't either. I can't either. Okay. So I'm going to come down. And I'm just getting into that. I had a middle part here where I had some yellow. And that's where that yellow is picking up. I'm trying to get my white. Just to draw this mason jar in. Painting with a palette knife is, um, is quite different. It's not, um, it's definitely not like painting with a, not, uh, with a brush. You just pick your paint up. You get a little scoop of paint on the back of your, your palette knife. And you 
paint with that little scoop of paint. Okay, so there, that's a start. There we go, that's a start. And then um, the flower will do, uh, let's see, let's do, I was gonna do the stem first, but let's do the flower part. I'm gonna do yellow and sienna for my center. Just mixing these two colors, yellow and my sienna. Heather said the only thing I can draw is a, a blank <laughs> and a, a blank. Okay, now I'm confused. It doesn't take much to confuse me, though. <laughs> but anyhow, what I was saying before about the, you know, I did, I went live on YouTube. Never, never done it before. I was a little bit nervous about it. Hadn't, you know, hadn't uh, ventured out there. I did the same thing when I went on YouTube. I'd never done, or not YouTube, uh, Instagram. I'd never done that before. And I just wanted to give it a try. So I did. And, um, I didn't let fear keep me from doing something that, uh, was so much fun. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Um, the cow was cute. There was a, a couple of people in there new that I hadn't, uh, painted with before. And a couple of my regulars, Tammy and Heather, and... Um, now it's on there and other people can see it, uh, who want to do the, and I'm just doing some, adding some light to this, trying to get some yellow and a lighter, a little bit white mixed in with that same color. I'm just putting some light on this side right here. Um, and it was so much fun. Um, so, you know, I got to the end and I didn't know how to turn it off, but I figured it out. It all worked out. So don't let fear keep you from doing something that you want to do, guys. Because if it's painting or, you know, like here with me, if that's what's keeping you from doing this, um, don't, don't let fear hold you back. So just try it. You may not be, you know, so, so great at it at first. But with practice, learning and implementing and practicing uh, what you learn, you'll figure it out. Um, I probably got that down a little bit too low, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, where's my white? I'm out of white. Um, <clears throat> but you, you, can't, uh, you can't let fear keep you from doing fun stuff because it is crazy because usually i mean what are you afraid of when you don't when you don't want to do something and you're afraid what's making you afraid is what the unknown it's what that's what you're afraid of is something that you want you've not done before i'm making a gray color i had to get some more white and i'm making a gray color and i'm making gray with sienna blue and white sienna blue and white i'm hoping this is going to show up on this background here because i think i got my background a little bit too dark but your white for your petals um have to be gray first And it's hard sometimes for you all to see. I keep hearing like it's raining. Y'all getting a lot of rain where you're at? We sure have been. I 
Oh, thanks, Heather. I appreciate that. She said she thought the YouTube video was great and the cow was adorable. I think he's over here. He's kind of funny looking. I've been doing a lot of, um, I did a, I don't like to get my head in front of there, so I'm going to scooch over here. Um, I did, this is the cow that I did on the YouTube uh, video. He's a crazy cow. We did this one in the art studio, and then this one I did last night with the power knife. So he's cute. He's on an 8 by 10 So it's pretty cool. And then I did, with the palette knife, the other evening I did the cotton. And uh, this was the original. And I did that cotton. And that was fun. So, yeah. And, guys, guess what's coming up? Guess what? I have something else to show you. Um, yeah, the All Access membership is opening up. And that's coming in March. 14th, and the um, workshop is coming up, hmm. and I need to get it scheduled on the, I need to post it, it's coming up, and I finally finished the painting that I'm going to do, can you all see that, the painting of the birdhouse is the workshop painting. What do you think about that? Is that cool or what? Love, love, love it. Turned out really cute. The workshop is going to be, um, it's going to be, um, three days of, well, not three whole days, three, three days in a row, an hour, um, each day, we're going to get together in a private Facebook group. And we're going to paint this uh, birdhouse. And I hope you guys will be uh, signing up for that. I'm going to post that probably, um, well, I was going to say I'd probably post it tomorrow. If I can get that Facebook group. No, I don't have to do the Facebook group, group yet. Yeah, I'll post that tonight. And uh, I'll get that on my Facebook page tomorrow so you can sign up for it. Or not Facebook. I'll post it on my Facebook page, but you sign up for it on my website. <clears throat> I haven't had time to add the thing to my website yet. Um, that's going to be a little bit darker. I want to do that anyway. So. Um, so anyhow, that'll be on there tomorrow. I'm going to post that. You can sign up for the web, or the web, the workshop on my website. I'm just putting in some gray here for my petals, for my daisy. Should have made my background a little bit lighter. Um, but that's exciting. That's coming up. Um, your iced, you've got ice uh, from an ice storm yesterday. Oh, shoot, Heather. I hate ice storms. I hope it didn't do any damage and give you a power outage. That is no fun. Okay, so when you do this, do your background a little bit lighter than I did mine. I did my background just a little bit too dark. But hey, you learn as you go. Live and learn. And like I said, sometimes whenever we do these things on here, they're, they're just impromptu, guys. Impromptu. Just, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I'm going to add some white to that gray. Yeah, ice storms are definitely no fun. We've had our fair share of those around here. So, hey, Louise. Is it Louis or Louise? Um, sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly. There's Linda watching. Hello, hello. We're painting a daisy in a mason jar with a palette knife. And I just went into the white, mixed with that gray. I just took white into my gray mixture right here in the center. And I'm just picking up my paint there and touching that on. I'm just, with this, you just touch it on. Uh, you don't really push very hard. You just kind of drag it across, really. 
Don't cover up all your darks. Your first coat uh, on a white um, object has to be gray first. That's your shadow. And then you go back over top of it. You add a little bit more white, and that's your middle tone. And then you add your white in the very end. Lots of people don't know that. But that is true. And you have to have a little bit... A um, little bit of patience. Give yourself some grace. Don't be hard on yourself. So, y'all say, yeah. Uh, y'all say, hey, when you jump on here and let me know where you're from. That's always fun. If I, if I haven't painted with you before, let me know if you're new. I love to um, paint with the palette knife. It's it's fun and it's it's relaxing to me. Could be stressful to some, possibly. I think it's a love hate relationship. Either you love it or you hate it, right? Just setting in this, touching, touch, getting the just scooping the paint up on the back of my palette knife, getting some paint on there, and just. That's probably too much paint. I knew it was going to be. I could tell by looking at it. Sometimes if you get too much, you can take the side of your knife and lift it off. If you get a little boo-boo. Alright, so there's the middle tone. And I did get a little bit into my yellow, but I'm going to paint back over that again. Okay, so there's that, and it does make a mess. You get a lot of paint on your hands. <laughs> so there, I'll forewarn you on that one. Okay, so then I'm going to go back in. I want to go with some white with not any, well, I'm not going to say not any, with very little gray in it. And we're going to brighten that daisy up some more. We're not going to do every single petal white like that, but you're going to get, you know, mostly where the light, the light would hit the top of it. Tammy, are you still on here? I was supposed to go into the, um, I think I said that I was going to go into the membership and paint those ducks, or not ducks, chicks this evening, or sometime, and I think that was supposed to be this evening. So we'll have to do that um, since I didn't let everybody know. We'll have to do that one another another day. That will be a fun one, though. The chicks. I do apologize for that. I meant to put a post in the group. I'll have to do that when I'm done here. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to fill in here why, where I uh, got a little messy. I'm just touching in some more light there. And I'm going to put some dark yellow in Sienna, was my dark. And I'll put it down here on the bottom of this little guy. Because I'm creating a, a shadow down on the, the bottom of that flower, okay? And when you're doing these, don't try to be all neat about it. 
Um, don't worry too much about, um, you know, trying to be so perfect with it. Because the thing with um, my green I'm adding, burnt sienna and green is my green color. The thing with this is more green than brown. I don't want it to be brown. I want it to be green, but I want it to be... I don't know where that color came from. Like, it's like black. That was quite strange. Hmm. Where did that come from? Well, let's try that again. That was weird. Okay, so let's try again. <laughs> green. Where's my green? Green and sienna. I don't know why it turned black. Um, but don't try to be so neat about it because, um, that's not going to happen with a, a, um, palette knife painting. It's more, um, I don't know, I don't know if impressionistic would be it, but it's not going to be perfect. Okay, so there we go. Green. And Sienna makes kind of like a, an army green color, sort of. So I'm get me a little row of paint on there. And I'm going to wanted that over more. I wanted it over there more, but I feel like if I do that, it's going to look like it's not in the center of the flower. Oops, didn't mean to do that at all. Sometimes you have to pick it up. When you're trying to uh, work on it, and you're at an angle that you can't uh, get it, sometimes you have to pick it up. Okay. All right. So there's the stem. I'm going to do a little bit of yellow on that stem. I just took yellow, added to that same green color. There's that. Okay, and um, put a little bit, I'm going to go a little bit yellow and white. And I want to touch in here a little bit. I think I, I was going to say, I think I have too much paint on my brush. I'm going to touch in right there. Get that light at the top. It's looking good, I think. What do you guys think? Not too bad, eh? Okay, then we'll work some more on the jar. I think I'm going to dry it a little bit so I don't rake my green through. So, there. I love the texture and the dimension that the knife gives me. Yes, yes, yes. Heather, that is the truth. I love, love, love that. And it's such 
such a free, it's such a, ah, I don't know. It's like a therapy thing to me. But I don't know if you guys can see that or not, that what she's talking about, that thick, um, thickness that it, it gives you there is, is awesome. It, it's like a big old thick globs, sort of, not globs, but you know, it's nice. Nice texture. Nice, nice texture. Okay, so now we're going to go, I'm just going to add just a smidge of light. Put a white in with that yellow green that I did for the, uh, for that stem. And I'm just going to lighten up this side over here, just a smidge. Because I wanted that to be lighter on that edge. Okay, so um, then I'm going to go in and do the jar. So we're going to go back to that gray um, sienna and blue mixture. So you all like painting with the palette knife? Who likes painting? Y'all like painting with the palette knife or the brush? Y'all let me know in the comments. Or both. Say both. If you want to do both, if or if you like just the palette knife, just let me know. Just let me know in the comments there. We'll see. I'll be interested to see how many palette knife painters do I have and how many... Um, so I'm just taking this dark color and I'm just putting in uh, around the jar here. I may have to lighten that a little bit. A little lighter gray maybe. Oh, thank you, Paula. And then I'm going to do a little over here, a little bit up the side. I think I'm going to lighten that gray a little bit. So I'm not sure I want it to be that dark. And you have to put your jar back in in front of your green stem. because that's what throws it to the back. Need some more white again. Go through an awful lot of white. And I said purple. But I, you know, I never used the first purple. I should have used it in the flower. Still could, I guess. Purple's a great color to use in your paintings. Um... That makes a, a great shadow color. It's a great natural shadow color. Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate the likey little thumbs up thingy. And if you all know of somebody that's interested in this sort of thing, um, you know, if you want to sprinkle the love or spread the word or... etc. Most appreciated, it sure is. Just trying to calm that down a little bit, but I'm not doing a very good job. Ugh. Okay, there we go. And make sure you keep your, your vase or jar or whatever you're working with, make sure you keep it um, even. You know, the shape. Don't lose your shape. Okay. 
Okay. So there's that. Oh, I need another one in the middle, don't I? Just kind of, sort of. I, had, I didn't have a clue in the world what I was going to paint when I came on here this evening. And for whatever reason, this daisy painting entered my mind today. And I thought, oh, absolutely. I love that painting. I'll do that. Both, but you've been strictly using the knife since Christmas. And you're loving it so much. You used brushes today on a commission piece. And it felt off. Huh. Yeah. Um, well, I know your husband bought you a whole um, array of brushes or of palette knives. So, uh, and I keep getting, be careful, don't get too much paint on your palette knife. I keep doing that. Don't know why. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of a reflecting, looking like thing there. A little bit of light here. I mean, you can get too much. So just be careful with that. If you do, you can kind of scoop it off with the knife. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm, I haven't been doing this for a real long time, but I love it. And hey, if you love it, it's all good. Just paint from your heart. And it'll be good. Okay. And then I want to put a little bit of reflecting. A little light right there. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love that. Love it. Okay, um, I said I was going to do, do some purple, but I don't know. Am I going to do some purple? A little bit of, I'm just adding a little bit of purple in the shadow part of my flower. Anytime you incorporate a new color like that, I have a little bit on my yellow. Anytime you incorporate a new color uh, like that, you need to work it in and throughout your painting so that it looks like it's cohesive and that you you meant to do that and that um, it'll work. And if what has, what's on there, I'll show you a little trick. If what is on there has dried and you want to remove it, which this is driving me insane right now, you can take a little, but what's underneath has to be dry. You can take a little bit of a wet uh, baby wipe. And that will come off. But you have to, uh, it has to be dry underneath. And be cautious. See? Okay. Isn't that cool? A little trick for you. Just be careful with that. <laughs> I do that uh, from time to time. And also I clean with my brush. When I get something somewhere, and I've showed you that, you all that before. Uh 
if you um, if you um, get something on with there and then you want to clean it off with your brush, you can do that. Um, I like that. I love, love, love that, actually. Not like, I love it. So, there we go. And I'm not so sure I wouldn't want to put a little bit of light around the outside edge as well. Some lights, white. Don't know. All right, there we go. I don't know if I like that or not. I may get my baby wipe back out. <laughs> so you guys can learn a lot here. You just stick with me. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you what not to do. <laughs> show you how to fix it, anyways. There, I like that a whole lot better. What do y'all think? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I like that better. Okay. There we go. I think we've got the flower in. We've got the um, jar. Highlight. What else? Still, I just feel like I don't have enough shadow. Maybe I do. And these flowers, I just I feel like I covered up all of my dark. Maybe not. Because I would have liked to have had that dark showing. But I think it's fine. It's good. I'm not gonna fool with it. Okay, we're good. What do y'all think? Mason jar, flower of mason jar. Daisy at a mason jar. Okay, so you all, um, if you're going to try this, like I said, I painted it on uh, an 8 by 10 um, Looking for a color that will show up here in the signature. And it looks like, gosh, not much. I do not like to sign in white. But I feel nothing else will really show up, so I'm signing it in white. I rarely sign in white. Always sign your paintings. And I'll, I always put the date, uh, year on there. Okay, so use, um, I painted it with a palette knife that I've stuck back here in the water. I painted it with the palette knife. I used white, uh, yellow, green, blue, umber, uh, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and purple. And um, I painted it on an 8 by 10 stretch canvas. So there you go. Alrighty. I love it. The little bit of purple down here and around was good. Up there was just too much, I thought. So, um, yeah. So, how about that? So, thank you all so much for jumping on here. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, that was fun. So, there's the colors. I gave you the colors on that. Um, I showed you the um, workshop painting is coming. The workshop painting is coming. The workshop is coming. This is the painting. I hope you guys will want to join with me to paint this. Um, like I said, the um, what it is, is um, it's a workshop. It's three days of painting with me to paint this. I'll probably have a two, two, one or a two day um, bonus. <laughs> That'll be fun uh, to add one to it. Um, because I'm going to add something to it, but there's, there's two days, uh, for that, and that'll be fun, 
and uh, it'll be $10 to join. I'll add that to my website and you'll just go, I'll put the, put the notice on my Facebook page. You'll go out to the website, pay and uh, you're in and then you'll be invited to a private Facebook group um, is where we'll paint. So um, they're a lot of fun. You learn a lot. I uh, show you every step of the way. You get a template, a supplies list, and it's a blast. So um, there's a lot to learn here. It's not just that you'll know how to paint this painting when you're done. You'll learn you know, have the technique of flowers, grasses, blending, sky, wood. Um, there's a lot to it. And then the, the surprise, two days extra. You guess what that is. All right. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys, pre appreciate you guys jumping on here and painting with me this evening. You guys are wonderful. I love my painters. I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you and take care and try this out. Try this beautiful painting out. See what you can do. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. That's what I do. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.